Hager is a journalist that writes on his blog every day about Scientology. Breaking news, personal stories, all the con that go, the conning part of the fraudulent, bogus parts of the church. It's all on the blog. So they hired a PI to hack into his computer. <laughs> and by sheer serendipity, Mike Grinder, who has a wonderful blog also daily revealing the bogus camouflaged lies, 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 lies. He unravels the lies. The PI had been instructed to hack into his computer. And the Justice Department actually got in touch with these two people because that private investigator got caught. See, this, this, is, this is just by accident. When I say the amount of operatives that they hire, the shady things they do, now and again we get a little trickle of this and that. But the bigger picture is yet to be seen. All on tax exempt money. It's tax exempt money that's paying the PRs to do all this. So Tony Ortega and Mike Rinda were asked by the court to provide impact, victim impact statements. Both of them are worth a read. Oh my goodness. Here. Here's Tony's. And Mike's is longer, but what a read. It's a pattern. It isn't just one incident. It's just a few weeks ago. The PIs that were stalking and spying and surveying and infiltrating David Miscavige's father, it exploded. The, the guys had incredible amount of weapons and a silencer. And barely a few weeks go by, and now a new private investigator, hacker, who hired, who hires hackers, was caught. I will tell you, this is the tip of the iceberg. There could be as many as 1,000 private investigators, costing the church 30, 40 million dollars a year. You see, we don't know. We don't know what they do with the money. There is no transparency whatsoever. They could spend a hundred million dollars a year on lawyers and private investigators. Is this for public benefit? Is this why you get tax exemption? To feather the nests of private investigators to do illegal, dirty things? You know, I've said this before, but the IRS was so lied to. Jeffrey and I have counted over 150 separate lies, but one lie, a major lie, is, oh, this small rogue, the little rogue nest of guardian office people, they're all fired, they're all gone, and this is a new beginning, a new era, a new renaissance. What utter nonsense. Lies. Church of Scientology, is a pathological liar. Lies. There's no difference between guardian office days. Now, they're more stealth, they're more covert, they're more hidden. 
but Garyanov's tactics aren't gone. And what is so mind-boggling is Tony Ortega wrote a book of these tactics, these methods, the incredible spying on Paulette Cooper. And they spy on him. They make his case. Buy the book. Here it is. Go to Amazon. Get a Kindle if you're a little bit non-techy. Get a Kindle. You'll love it. Buy the book and watch how far and how devious and how deadly the Church of Scientology will be. Get into the mind of the church and see what they did to someone writing a book that people then came to. She was the only person that persecuted people could come to. But they made Tony Ortega's case. And in 40 years, they could not change. Sooner or later, going down a dark pathway of doing illegal things with tax-exempt money is not going to end well. <laughs>